This woman, who goes by Layla W. on YouTube, is by far Eugenia Cooney's biggest stalker. And I say this because this woman literally not only watches every video that Eugenia Cooney makes, she will watch any and every video about Eugenia Cooney uploaded to YouTube. Any clip of a live stream that's posted to YouTube, Layla watches. Any video made about Eugenia, Layla will watch. And Layla has literally left more comments about Eugenia Cooney on various videos than anybody else on all of YouTube. And when I say she's left hundreds of thousands of comments at least, that is not an exaggeration. She's easily left hundreds of thousands of comments on Eugenia Cooney. The thing about Layla is that she's a sad case because she's clearly obsessed with Eugenia and she spends more time than anyone else watching videos and commenting on videos about Eugenia. I personally don't watch every single video ever uploaded about Eugenia Cooney, but Layla does. I don't have the amount of time to make as many comments about Eugenia or anyone else on YouTube, but Layla does. The thing about Layla is that she is also a pathological liar. I don't think that she could go 10 or 15 minutes without lying, even if her entire life depended upon it. One of Layla's biggest lies is that she is only on YouTube because she is benevolent and she is trying to help children. She is a lot like the witch from Hansel and Gretel. The witch from Hansel and Gretel pretended to be this sweet older lady who was only trying to help children and give them sweet things to eat. It's conceivable that like the witch and Hansel and Gretel, Layla made this video in which she's eating a cinnamon roll to entice children into thinking that she's nice and benevolent and showing that she likes to eat sweets just like the witch in Hansel and Gretel. Now, she says that she is not a predator because she is female and females cannot be predators. This, of course, contradicts what she says because she's always saying that, well, you know, Eugenia Cooney is a predator and we have to realize that women can be predators. And Layla is right. We do have to realize that women can be predators, and that includes Layla. The people who are female predators do things like try to pretend that they are benevolent when they are not, just like the witch in Hansel and Gretel. Like the witch in Hansel and Gretel, Layla wants you to think that she is sweet, that she is trying to help the children, and that she cares about eating sweet things even though she says that she was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes at the very young age of 35, and she probably should not be eating too much sugar, well, she still thinks she's setting a good example for health and for children. But the truth is, she doesn't really care about body shaming, nor does she care about preventing eating disorders. Any more than the Wicked Witch from Hansel and Gretel cares about helping children. It is common for female predators to hide behind the fact that they are female, just like the women who were teachers hid behind the fact that they were female when they got arrested for having sex with their students. Now, Layla not only tries to hide behind the fact that she's female, but also she tries to hide behind the fact that she's quote-unquote helping children. Another sign of predatory behavior are people that constantly lie, and people who act like Onision who claim that they never lie, but in fact, in reality, they lie more than most people do. Generally speaking, you should beware of anyone who makes it a point to keep telling you that they never lie. As you can see in this comment, she goes on and on about how she hates liars and she would never lie and she never lies about anything. And then she completely contradicts herself and admits that she has lied about myself and about Johnny. Now, Johnny, the Johnny she's referring to is Johnny Hale. Sometimes he would call himself Johnny Sinclair. He had several uh, aliases. I don't even know why you would bother to lie about that guy because the truth about him was so bad that you didn't even need to lie. But she lies about me as well. And the truth about me really isn't that bad. I'm not evil. I'm not a child predator or anything like that. And that bothers Layla because she knows that she has nothing on me, and so she chooses to repeatedly lie about me. Another lie that Layla makes is she claims that her channel is not for children or not trying to appeal to children. And yet here she is in this video using a Snapchat filter that makes her look like a bunny 
Furthermore, she keeps claiming that the entire reason she is on YouTube is because she's trying to help children. So that means that yes, indeed, her channel actually is trying to appeal to children. So she's just lying when she says she isn't. And this kind of thing, again, is similar to the kind of behavior that female predators have. Female predators will often do things like claim that they're honest when they're not, and use things like Snapchat filters to try to appeal to younger kids. Now, Layla does converse with underage kids online all the time. She tries to claim that it's not okay for men to do the same thing, but it's okay for her to talk to underage kids online all the time. And frankly, that's pretty creepy. And it's pretty sexist. In fact, just about everything Layla does is extremely creepy. Now, she doesn't like Eugenia Cooney. There's no question about that. She claims that she is trying to help Eugenia Cooney's child victims from being victims of eating disorders themselves. She feels that Eugenia is somehow causing eating disorders. Now, I don't agree with that, but I've discussed that in a different video. But I can tell you this, Layla is lying when she claims that she cares about eating disorders and body positivity. In this video, Layla says, it's the inside that counts, love yourself. She purportedly is promoting body positivity and is saying that someone's physical appearance shouldn't matter. But if you look at many of the comments she makes, you can see that this is a total lie. She actually does care about physical appearance and she uses petty insults about physical appearance against people. As you can see in these comments, she's calling my friend the Dark Angel fat and creepy and lying about him by claiming that he chases 14-year-old girls online. He actually doesn't. Also, a woman who actually cares about not causing eating disorders and a woman who is actually trying to prevent eating disorders would not go around fat shaming people and calling people fat. In fact, that's the opposite of a woman who cares about preventing eating disorders. Because Layla is lying when she says that she cares about eating disorders. I mean, Layla is not the sharpest tool in the shed, but even she must be smart enough to know that eating disorders can be triggered by going around and insulting people by saying that they are fat. This is the exact opposite of what somebody who believes that it's what's on the inside that counts would do. So Layla, when she says it's what's on the inside that counts, is just lying. She doesn't care about what's on the inside. She cares about judging people about their physical appearance. She is a liar and she is a hypocrite. As you can see from these comments, Layla keeps lying about my age, claiming that I'm 50 when she knows that I and Dark Angel are younger than her, and she also claims that I am bald. Now, as you can see from this picture, I am not bald. In fact, only a very, very stupid person would think that I am bald. Now, I'm not claiming that Layla is an especially intelligent person, but I am claiming that she is lying. and. When she says that she hates liars and said she never lies, she's lying. Just like Onision when he says that he is the most honest YouTuber. In fact, Layla is a pathological liar. Earlier in this video, I showed you that Layla admitted to lying about me. And she continues to lie about me. And it's not just about me. It's not just about Dark Angel. It's not just about Light Angel. It's not just about Eugenia Cooney. She lies about all kinds of people. Uh, if you're the victim of some of Layla's lies or bullying, please let me know in the comments. I'd like to hear it. I can make this video much longer, but I'm not going to. I might make additional videos on Layla in the future. For now, though, I will tell you that you can look at the Dark Angels channel. I highly recommend that you subscribe to the Dark Angels channel. He has done a more in-depth video on Layla W, which I will link to in the description. I also want to tell you about a new collab channel that I started. It's called Dark Justice Nights. It's a collab channel featuring myself, the Dark Angel, Light Angel. Yes, we have the powers of both light and dark. And Fan Cakes Are Mine. And in this channel, we expose internet predators such as Layla W. And for our first podcast, which I will also link to in the description, we discuss and expose Layla W and her lies. So I just want this video to basically be a PSA. 
I want people to know that if you are a child or if you are a parent or if you are an adult who knows a child, please don't be fooled by Layla W. She is not a benevolent person who wants to help children. As I have proven in this video, she is not a person who is trying to promote body positivity. She is not a person who is trying to prevent eating disorders, otherwise she wouldn't fat shame people. She is a malicious person. She is no more trying to help children than the Wicked Witch in Hansel and Gretel was trying to help children. She has a lot of traits in common with adult female predators, and she has a lot in common with the witch in Hansel and Gretel. I like to think of Layla as the Wicked Witch of YouTube. I don't mean any offense to people who practice benevolent forms of witchcraft, but I think that Layla is not benevolent. I think that she is a very malevolent person, and I definitely don't think that she cares about children or cares about eating disorders if she's willing to body shame people. She also doesn't seem to mind triggering body dysmorphic disorder in people. Because remember, body dysmorphic disorder does not have to be about someone's weight. Body dysmorphic disorder can be about any type of physical imperfection. And if Layla always goes around insulting people for imperfections that they don't even have, like telling me that I'm bald when I'm not, and first of all, it wouldn't even matter if I was bald, it wouldn't make me a bad person. But second, I'm not actually bald. So when Layla goes around saying things like that, she has the potential to trigger body dysmorphic disorder because body dysmorphic disorder can be about a real or about an imagined imperfection that someone has. But Layla is not trying to help people. She also insults the appearance of children. Right now, she has this kid who goes by Israel Savage who she is now getting sort of cozy with, and yes, he is underage, but before she was calling him Pizza Face. A woman going around calling a child Pizza Face is not a woman who is trying to promote body positivity in children or anyone else. So Layla, I see through you. I see through your mask. I know that you're a bad person. I know that you don't care about children, and frankly, a lot of people can see through you. A lot of people can see that you are, in fact, ugly on the outside and on the inside. And yes, I have sometimes attacked Layla's physical appearance myself, but only in retaliation. Look, I'm not Jesus Christ. I don't always turn the other cheek, and sometimes there's only so much I can take. But I wouldn't be rude and obnoxious to Layla unless she was rude and obnoxious to me first. So once again, check out Dark Angel's channel. Check out our new collab channel. And let me know if you have had any negative experiences about Layla in the comments section. She is a bully and she does use a lot of lies and insults against a lot of people. It's time that we stand up to pathological liars and bullies like Layla W. So if you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel by clicking the upper left icon. Click the bell icon for notifications and together we can take over the world. To subscribe to my new collab channel, Dark Justice Nights, click the lower left icon. You can also follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at Zorkbid123.